Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody, especially for Mr. Romanto and all of our friends. On this occasion, we are from Group D of Industrial System Engineering Department will present our presentation about the development of creative industries in Indonesia. Before that, let us introduce ourselves, started by Wanda, please. I'm Nabila Amanda Faraswari, who is student ID 5010211009. And I'm Rivalio Indra Wijaya with student ID 50102111. And my name is Faranatala Aparad with student ID 50102111. The table of content of this presentation is first, definition of creative industry, creative industry development model, 17 type of creative industry, data of development, facts of the topic, and then the last is closing. Before we are going further to the main discussion, we must know what is creative industry. There are two parts in creative industry. Creative itself means relating to or involving the imagination or original ideas, especially in the production of an artistic work. Besides, industry means group of productive enterprise or organizations that produce or supply goods, service, or source of income. And when it's combined into a praise, means an industry that utilizes individual creativity, skills, and talents to create wealth and job by generating and exploiting the individual's creative and creative power. Thank you, Manda. Next one, I'll present the development model of this topic. In this modeling, there are five main foundation pillars, which are there must be an industrial sector, a viability of resources, either raw materials or labor, financial sites, product marketing, and the last is technology and infrastructure use, which all of this will be managed together in an institution under the auspices of the government, national business units, and spearheaded by modern communities and intellectual youth. In the next slide, we'll explain what sectors are included in these creative industries. The first sector is digital application development, and then architectural sectors, visual communication design, product design, interior design, photography, music, craft, culinary, and the next one is fashion, publishing, film, animation, and video, advertising, interactive game, performing art, fine art, and the last but not least is TV and radio. For the first data of development is stats of Indonesian creative economic labor in 2019. This data shows that there, are, ha, that there has been a significant increase in the empowerment of human resources in the growth of creative industry from 2018 to 2019. If we take data in 2019 alone, the creative industry sector has empowered around 15.21% of the total workforce in Indonesia, with an increase in the number of about 4.02% from the previous year. It can be said that this statistic is quite significant. In addition, there is also data on the distribution of creative industry sector in 2019 in Indonesia. The first position was occupied by the culinary sector, followed by fashion sector, and then craft publishing, art performance, TV and radio, photography, music, and the remaining 1.23% was for other sector. For the next data of development will be presented by my friend Farhad. Time is yours. Thank you, Aldo, for the time. Now I will continue the presentation. The next one about the labor income. From the data, the wages of labels increased from 2.29 million in 2018 to 2.45 million in 2019. For the details, it can be seen in the table on the right. Although not all subsector experience an increase, but the average wages in creative economy sector was higher than the average minimum provincial wages. Next is distribution of creative economy actors in several regions. Uh, for the example, is DKI Jakarta and is Java. For the DKI Jakarta, they are top three subsector. First is music, then film animation and video, then followed by the art performance. For the top three city distribution, the first is South 
Jakarta, then East Jakarta, and followed by the West Jakarta. If we look distribution based on the gender, the male is 66.72% and for the female is 33.28%. For the East Java, it's slightly the same like Jakarta. The top three subsector, the first is music, the second is culinary, and the third is art performance. And for the top three city distribution, the first is Surabaya, then Malang, and followed by Sidoarjo. And based on the gender, the male is 64.62% and for the female is 35.38%. This is the table of gross domestic income or GDI for economic creative from 2010 to 2007. It can be seen in the yellow table. There is an increase in GDI every year. After presenting some data, this proves the fact First, the creative industry supports the Indonesian national economy. With the development of creative industries, it can help the country's finances. Then the second, every sector in the creative industry applies the application of technology and modern dynamic elements it, so that it can expect it to survive the blow of globalization. And the third, gradually, the creative industry helps reduce social inequality by trying to empower the surrounding human resources to be guided and directed to be better. For the afterward, the exploration of ideas and human creativity is so valuable without any limits. Therefore, this creative industry is predicted to have potential that will continue to grow in the future. That's all from us. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.